Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago Season 11 episode review and discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about episode 28 of the Season 11 story entitled A Fragile Hope. Now this episode sees Lloyd trying to deal with the fact that Zane is the Ice Emperor and he's joined by a few other new allies in a sort of prison area under the Ice Emperor's castle and meanwhile the rest of the ninja get up to some shenanigans as well. Now as we normally do for these episode reviews, we'll start off the video by talking about some of the good things about the episode some of the positive stuff that I enjoyed, then we'll jump into some of the not so good things, and then at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and give the episode a final score out of 10. So let's go ahead and jump right into what this episode is all about. So as I stated earlier, the episode is essentially containing Lloyd fully coming to terms with Zane becoming the Ice Emperor, and it's a pretty big thing for him to accept. He doesn't really seem to accept it too well, and he tries to convince Zane otherwise, but Zane isn't having it, and he's still, I guess, corrupted by the scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu. He doesn't really seem to care or recognize Lloyd, and that's that's really heartbreaking and also really fun at the same time because again this Ice Emperor concept is a very cool idea and this is exactly what I wanted to see from that. I wanted to see an evil Zane that really didn't care about the rest of the ninja and really didn't care about Ninjago. He just wants one thing, and this episode delivers a little bit more into that concept. As always, Lloyd meets up with a few other allies as well. We have Kataru, who we're seeing for the first time, who is, of course, Akita's brother in the prison of the Ice Emperor. And later we get Grimfax, who was the original, I guess, castle owner, or whatever you want to call it, the original emperor, until Zane and Vex took over. So those three are going to be making up what's known as the Ninjago Resistance, at least in the Never Realm. We've already had a resistance, but the Never Realm version is a little bit more intriguing. And I really do like this team. I'm curious to see uh, what these two actually do in future episodes, and this episode did a pretty good job of establishing these two characters. Meanwhile, again, the rest of the ninja are kind of dealing with their own problems. They're trying to get the land bounty up and running again, and they're being attacked by wolves, and this will eventually lead into, I guess, their actions in future Ninjago episodes. And this plot thread is kind of cool. It's nice to see the ninja work together as a team, even though two of his members are missing, and they also do team up with Craig as well. But this plot thread kind of felt like it was a little weak compared to other Ninjago plots, especially the same one going on in this episode. There's definitely one overshadowing the other. And I would have liked to see the actual ninja subplot, I guess, get uh, promoted a little bit more. Maybe have that mean more. I'm sure it'll mean a little bit more in future episodes, but as of this one moment, this actual plot really didn't seem to, I guess, grab me as much as I was hoping it would have. And that's really the only negative thing I have to say about the episode. I mean, overall, this episode was pretty solid, all things considered. Definitely some fun stuff going on. And while there wasn't really a lot of action overall, aside from the actual ninja subplot, I will say the episode itself was pretty good, and it definitely builds up more of what the ice chest chapter finale might look like. So for a final score, I'm going to go ahead and give this episode an 8 out of 10 for everything I just listed in this review. Definitely not a terrible episode, and it definitely could have been better, but it's still not bad. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvelous Jan. Thank you so much for pledging to the $10 tier. As such, you'll receive a spoken shout out and a written shout out at the end of every video, plus additional early access content on the Patreon page from time to time. With that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.